to The Late Show. Ladies and gentlemen, my first guest tonight is known as the king of horror and has written more than 60 novels. His latest is called Billy Summers. Please welcome back to The Late Show, Stephen King. Nice to see you again. Thanks for being here. It's been so long since I've been in front of real people. I think I just expected. Yeah, it, it takes a little getting used to. It's it's really sort of wonderful. It is. It is a human yeah. contact. It's yeah. a it's a rare commodity. It's a hell of a Zoom screen. I can tell you that. <laughs> yes. Now we've spoken. We have spoken over over the Zoom. We've we've done some interviews over we the did, Zoom. Yeah. The last sixteen, whatever, however long it was, we were all locked down. Um, you know, uh, for the people out there who don't know, you've got a place up in Maine. You're associated with the state of Maine. You've lived there your entire life. Uh, are the property values shooting through the roof? Because I hear people want to leave the big cities and go to the the coastal towns of Maine. I hear I hear you can't touch property there. Sure. No, it's tough. It's yeah. tough. Property is uh, boom, through the roof. Yeah. You thought about turning your place into an Airbnb or something like that? <laughs> but you could turn some coin on your house being Airbnb, <laughs> I bet. Yeah, but there are a lot of skeletons in the closet, man. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. You can check out any time you like, <laughs> but you can't <laughs> You never can leave. never really leave, that's right. Well, um, you, you've written over 60 novels, but you're also really prolific on Twitter. People love, I follow you on Twitter. People really enjoy your Twitter, Twitter feed. You've been particularly eloquent lately about Governor Ron DeSantis of Florida. Is there a chance that in the near future we might see a Florida governor as a villain uh, <laughs> of, one of, your, of one of your novels? <laughs> well, that's, that's, that's entirely possible. You know, the thing is, like, uh, I know the guy fairly up close because we live half of the year in Florida. Now, I didn't really want to go, but once you get to be 65 and you don't play tennis very well, it's the law. Right. Sure, they come and get you. Yeah, they, they come, come and get, get you. you anyway. Yeah. Well, you said, you said this recently. You said, uh, DeSantis policies are right-wing, the individual rules and to hell with what happens policies. They're turning a beautiful state into a big ICU, ICU ward where even healthy people can barely breathe. Yeah. yeah. Well, it isn't just uh, COVID. COVID is bad enough, but, you know, uh, there was a, uh, a retainment pool at Piney Point and nobody took care of it, and it got old, and uh, it was going to burst, and so they vented it. Uh, this is only DeSantis could do this. Only DeSantis could really think of this. They vented it into Tampa Bay, and uh, as a result, the red tide is so bad there. There's no question about masks on the west coast of Florida because the red tide is so bad that you have to wear a mask, and there are tons and tons of fish that are dead on the beach. And uh, so it isn't just COVID. There's, uh, Ron DeSantis is probably not the brightest bulb in the chandelier <laughs> at the best of times. So not an evil genius. No, I wouldn't say so. Not a mastermind. Um, you know, he's got that deer in the headlights look somehow. <laughs> and uh, so. Uh, <laughs> deer in the headlights. Deer in the headlights, hoping that's two motorcycles that are going to go right by him. That's exactly right. <laughs> now, a as the writer, how is the reality of COVID and, and what we in the United States and everyone around the world has gone through, this unprecedented thing in the last hundred years, how do you think that'll affect your fiction, or really the fiction of any writers? Because how could you write about the time we're in right now and not include that? Well, I, I started Billy Summers, the new one, in 2000, and oh, thank there you. It is. God bless Billy you. Summers. There you go. God bless you. It's so important, Stephen King. It's so important to get out there the news that you write books. That's right. That's right. Because you know the thing is, when you publish a new book, you got to get out somewhere and shake your ass a little bit. That's right. You got to do it. Let's work that money maker. Tell That's me about it. Shake that money maker, baby. Anyway, I started in 2019, and there was no COVID then. 
And I had a couple of characters that I had to get off the stage for reasons that have to do with the plot. Mm -hmm. We won't go there. But uh, so I said, you know, I'll tell you what, I'll put them on a cruise ship. And then <laughs> COVID came along, and I said, no, this is probably not going to work. So what I did was I took the whole book, which was set in 2020, and shoved it back to 2019. Now, writers are not going to be able to do that for long. Sooner or later, somebody's going to have to deal with this thing head on. Oh, we have to take a quick break, uh, but please don't go away. When we come back, I will ask Stephen King what Stephen King's favorite Stephen King stories are. All right. <laughs>